Section 3.3, Accrual Equivalent Returns and Tax Rates. Here there is just one example we'll be doing, but the concept is extremely important. Accrual equivalent after-tax return is the tax-free return that, if accrued annually, produces the same after-tax accumulation as the taxable portfolio. I'll give you a very simple example because you need to understand this well. Let's say you invest 100, and then this number goes from 100 to 130, but you pay taxes equal to 9. What are you left with after taxes? 121. All this happens over two years. Isn't this exactly the same as investing in a tax-free environment at 10%? You might recall an example from level 1 fixed income where you compared two bonds, one a municipal bond without any taxes versus a tax-bearing bond. This is that same concept. What, what we are saying here is a 10% return without taxes so effectively, we are saying, okay, after all taxes, we effectively have a 10% return. This 10% is your accrual equivalent return. It's the return that you would get. I think this is the best definition, actually. Now this definition will make more sense. Accrual equivalent after-tax return is the tax-free return that, if accrued annually, produces the same after-tax accumulation as the taxable portfolio. Once you see this example, this definition makes total sense. The example that is embedded in the curriculum is as follows. You start with 100 and you end up with 138.66 in five years after taxes. What is the accrual equivalent return? The way you can do that is you can say 100 plus or 100 multiplied by 1 plus RAE. What's RAE? That's your accrual equivalent return to the power of 5. Where's this 5 coming from? 5 years. This will give you 138.66. You simply solve for RE. That is your accrual equivalent return. And then what is the accrual equivalent tax rate, in our example, you can look at it this way. This should look a lot like what you saw at level one fixed income. If this is your regular return, mine into one minus your TAE. What's TAE? This is the accrual equivalent tax return, gives you the R A E. So this is your accrual equivalent tax rate. I'll read from the curriculum. This accrual equivalent tax rate is the hypothetical tax rate that produces an after tax return equivalent to the accrual equivalent return. I think the better way of just looking at it is this expression.